As president of the ICC, I have met with a number of victims in Uganda and the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Some were former child soldiers grappling or struggling to rebuild their lives. Other victims were missing arms and or legs or lips or ears or nose, which had been intentionally cut off. The brutality which they suffered reminded me that unfortunately with so many countries caught up in conflict, we are far from eradicating depravity and mass violence. Those of us who are granted the blessing of peace and safety from this horrific violence must always ask ourselves what we can do with this gift. I chose a legal career and I have believed all my life that it is through law that the worst violence and cruelty inflicted upon humans can be prevented. This is the same belief that, that has progressively guided the development of the international criminal justice throughout the 20th century.